the sentinel is right now above us, uh, scanning the landscape of the Salina in Rossini and sending data to the ground station in Matera. The Sentinella 2 has got a, a wide range of sensors that are able to capture different wavelengths. Uh, interestingly enough, you can uh, algorithmically select uh, different wavelengths and, and, and calculate or compute uh, a series of, uh, of drawings or maps that uh, may allow you to see this landscape and, and then the gradients and that are characterizing it. Is this the way birds see the landscape? Ornithologists uh, are actually able to track uh, some of the species uh, that uh, come to Solana through GPS trackers uh, that uh, they install on, on the back of, of some of these animals. And so the birds have become data feeds from this perspective, uh, the Salina really appear as a quite small. But if you zoom in, it could be nice to imagine the, the, uh, the surface of the Salina to corrugate, to become a lot more articulated. So imagine machines that operate more uh, in the way birds operate, uh, through swarm-like behavior. Maybe simpler machines or smaller machines that uh, would be able to coordinate and to uh, begin to develop behaviors uh, in the shaping of the landscape, for instance as some kind of ground machines or ground robots. It would be interesting to imagine how this can be embodied in architecture in the form of these uh, uh, um, aviary uh, that are open because they don't have a net but that create conditions for nesting and for interaction beyond what we know today. As you look at the, at the crystals of salt right now, you can imagine uh, these uh, patterns to be affected by these emerging morphologies. Yes, and perhaps this whole process can be detected from the satellite itself. Yeah.